Limerence is what makes new relationships most seductive and hot at the beginning of a relationship. It's when things are fresh and new. The research says that limerence lasts for anywhere from six months to 36 months and eventually fades. In my opinion, there's a way to get that feeling back after being with the same person for five or 10 years. It's actually pretty simple and weekends away are the ticket to make that happen. And this episode is to help you pull it off. I think that limerence can linger in long-term relationships. It's actually been proven in some studies. Can it always be as hot as it was at the very beginning of a relationship? Most likely not, but you can get a taste of it every now and then. And weekends away are the ticket, for sure. I'm a relationship and career coach with over 20 years of experience with happy marriage and successful businesses. My mission is to help all of y'all achieve success in life and love. And weekends away are one of the ways to make it happen. So let's get into it. So why should you do a weekend away? That's an easy one. It will help you reconnect as a couple. Period. End of story. Episode over. A lot of times when it comes to long-term relationships, people have a tendency to drift apart from one one another, especially after you have children. It's kind of a natural progress of life if you're not maintaining a connection in the process of your relationship. Weekends away are a way to hit the reset button. It's a really good way to unwind from your day-to-day stress and kids. It's huge. Kids are the biggest wet blanket you'll ever have over your bedroom uh, and your marriage. When you become parents, you lose a little bit of your individuality and you're not going to be nearly as selfish as you were before kids. So a weekend away will get you back to the dating mindset. That's critical. Guys, weekends away are a really good way to establish your leadership role. Uh, If you've lost your mojo, a lot of times I I see in coaching, especially when it comes to dudes in dead bedrooms, they want to do the weekends away just for the sex. That is a problem with your mindset. Your mindset on a weekend away should be more of of a first date approach. You're looking to enjoy yourselves, looking to do something more fun, more interesting, and break in the routine of your day-to-day life uh, in, in your marriage home. Don't do it just for sex. I remember a trip my wife and I took to Charlottesville, Virginia uh, a couple years ago. This was a weekend away. Uh, This is something that I that I did as a surprise. Didn't give my wife a whole lot of opportunity to to plan for it. I had everything taken care of. We went up to Charlottesville uh, for three days. Went up there, had an awesome time the first night. Uh, Really just we hung out. We went to Monticello uh, the second day and just had an awesome time, a blast. Honestly, when we got to our hotel room, I honestly forgot about sex. We had such a good time. I had a blast, and honestly, I just I just forgot about it, uh, but my wife reminded me. Uh, we had another trip to New Orleans, and we went to the Final Four a couple years ago in New Orleans. We... Uh, made a weekend away out of it, and we had an absolute blast. Um, we were there for about four days, so really about day three, we were kind of we were kind of sexed out, and we were also done with the Bourbon Street uh, scene. Uh, call us old, call us boring. It, it doesn't matter to me. So we decided on the last night just to hold up in the in the the hotel room and just watch a couple episodes of Yellowstone on our laptop. And like I said, if you think that's boring, it was absolutely bliss at the time, just chilling out and doing nothing. My wife and I are very busy people and it was just what we needed. It was awesome. We had a blast. It was such a good time. Uh, We had a very, very hot time there, but we also had time to relax. It was critical for us to reset our our minds, and come back home completely refreshed. Make each other laugh. 
laughing is so important when it comes to marriage and your relationship. On average, children laugh 300 times a day, and the average adult laughs 17 times. That's it. Work on that. (laughs) Make an effort to enjoy yourself and smile and enjoy each other's company and try to make each other laugh. Laughing diffuses any argument, period. If you're having a little bit of friction in your relationship and some conflict, if you can get your woman to laugh in that moment, it's impossible to be angry and laugh at the same time. It cannot be done. Just have a good time. So weekends away are an opportunity to relive the times that you had when you're dating. Sometimes you can actually go back to those days and go back to those those scenes and relive the days that you dated. Go back to the, the place where you proposed. Go back to the place where you first met, your first date. All of those things are in play. And a weekend away is a great opportunity to just have a slow weekend of sleep slash rest. You can say that on the front end. Instead of having a sex fest, you can have a sleep fest. Like I said, call me boring, but that is that can be bliss in itself. Just a few days of sleep can recharge your life, especially when it comes to an overstressed and overworked mother slash wife. A spa day can do the trick um, for an overstressed mom or woman 100%, but just chilling out and doing nothing can really recharge your life. So how do you pull it off? Obviously, weekends away can be expensive, so have a budget in mind. It doesn't have to be crazy expensive. Try to plan everything, fellas. Guys, try to plan everything. Kid care, hotel, transportation, flights, rental cars, everything. Try to take everything off of her plate as much as you can. That will make a huge difference when it comes to her stress level. Anything to make her relax is positive. (laughs) That's a positive thing. If you can get her to relax on a weekend away, you are going to enjoy yourself 100%. So take the lead in that in that role critical what you plan depends on you and your woman what do you enjoy camping versus a resort versus an airbnb all of those things matter so obviously you don't want to do something that your wife doesn't like or your husband doesn't like fine tune something to where you both will enjoy it and you both can share that experience maybe that goes without saying but <laughs> some people need to hear that now A weekend away can be a surprise, but it doesn't have to be. Most ladies, they're going to want at least 24 hours to pack and plan, but not all women are the same. You can do it heat of the moment, give her a couple hours to pack. I don't know a whole lot of women that are going to really like that. Um, I know my wife would not like that. Give her about a day to let it sink in and plan uh, and pack. And uh, maybe we're, we're heading out you got 24 hours to get your stuff together. It's already done. All the plans are made. This is where we're going, and we're out. It's a done deal. Don't take no for an answer. I'd say 95% of the time she's going to thank you after the fact. If she balks at you just a little bit or maybe just gets a little bit heated, let it go. Be Teflon. Don't let it stick. Don't take it personally. Keep to the plan. And when it comes to planning, don't be rigid. You can plan ahead for some things, but don't be rigid. So be open to new things. Having fun together is the main purpose. If if you're going to step out of your comfort zone, I highly recommend that. Like I said, that's what's going to get you to the dating uh, feeling again. And uh, that's where you're going to get the taste of limerence. Anything new, anything out of routine is a plus. So, and then while you're there, let's just talk about this. Be upbeat no matter what. Her senses are going to be pretty magnified in that situation. So, so don't be an Eeyore. Don't be a miserable son of a bitch to be around. Be the guy that other guys want to be and other women want to be with. 
Now, I personally like to be spontaneous, but you got to have some backup plans ahead of time just in case it rains or something gets canceled. Uh, anything's possible, so don't be rigid. Be spontaneous. Now, when she has – when it's her idea, you should take the lead, gentlemen, and plan the hotel, the activities. Don't let your wife do all the work. That is – that's – very, very important. This is a huge chance to lead your relationship. You're going to miss that opportunity if you let her do all of the planning and all of the work. I can't tell you how many times I've talked to guys in coaching where they delegated everything to their wife, especially when it comes to trips. And when they actually go on the trip, they're so overstressed. There's a lot of pressure on their wife thinking if something doesn't go right, then they're going to take it personally and it's their fault for planning these things. So plan ahead. Don't let don't let her do everything because she's going to get stuck in her head and she's not going to enjoy herself as much as it, as it would be if you plan everything and take everything off of her plate. That is huge. If you take anything from this episode, take that away. So when should you do weekends away? This is a sensitive part of weekends away. You should be connected as a couple, all right? A lot of people will do a weekend away when things aren't going well. You're, you're separated. You may be living on the couch, uh, and they're going to use a weekend away as a Hail Mary to try to save the relationship. A weekend away is not going to fix your marriage, okay? It can help in some cases, but it isn't going to be a fix-all, all right? So you should have a little bit of connection if you're in a really rough spot – as a couple, weekends away are not, that, that should not be your fix that you have in mind. A weekend away after kids are born is critical to stay connected. My wife and I actually made this mistake, and I don't want you to make it yourselves. But the first 12 years of being parents, we didn't go out of town. We didn't do a weekend away. The first one we did was a weekend away in Niagara Falls, and we had an absolute blast. That honestly was on me. I don't want you to make that same mistake. That weekend was absolutely incredible and honestly kind of started our uh, – <laughs> it made us realize that we needed to do it more. And don't they, don't make that mistake. Please don't make that mistake. Get out of town after kids. Honestly, time frames, it should be every four to six months of your marriage, uh, especially after children, get out of town. That's really the general rule of thumb, every six months minimum. If you don't have parents around or someone to take care of the kids, figure it out. Figure something out, okay? Whether it just be one night or two nights, you know, you're not going to be able to get far away, but at least a, a night over Sleeping over somewhere, uh, whether it be two hours away, a two-hour drive, a night over there, and then being able to get home that later that evening, you can have a sleepover with your kids, with friends, something. Figure it out, okay? I can't stress how important it is to get away as a couple after children. It is critical. Now, where do you go on weekends away? You need to get at least two hours away from where you live. My wife would rather be within a shorter drive so that she can get back home quickly if something happened or we had to get home quickly. But it, it really needs to be enough of a distance where she forgets about the kids and unwinds, gets out of her head, gets, out of, gets that hamster off the wheel where she can just relax and calm down and chill. So in my opinion, it should be about two hours away um, for travel time. I prefer driving, but flying is a necessity sometimes. That's all right. But driving is, is awesome. It's a really good time just to, just to hang out with you two. Turn the freaking radio off. Just chill with each other, just like you were when you first started dating. That's the point of going out of town with your spouse or your girlfriend or your boyfriend or your live-in, whoever. If you're with somebody for a long period of time, especially if you have children, it is important to connect just as a couple, and weekends away is a great way to do it. doesn't have to be fancy. You don't have to go to a $5,000 a night resort, okay? 
I spoiled my wife a little bit this in this regard. But if money is tight, get creative. If your budget is limited, get creative. All right? So that's most of it. Now listen, fellas especially, manage your expectations regarding sex. Manage your sex expectations. All right? In attention, guys in dead beds especially. Dead bedrooms, by definition, is having sex once a month for a year. So 10 times or less during the year, that's that's considered a dead bedroom. If you are doing a weekend away just to get laid after a long dry spell, don't go. You are going to have a terrible time. You're going to put a lot of pressure on her. Don't do that. Weekends away are for married couples that are getting along well. If you're in a dead bedroom and you do a weekend away just to have sex, that is not a good excuse, and you are going to – you're not going to have a good time, all right? All right? What to pack? What to take with you? Let her pack the sexy lingerie if she wants to for the first one. Don't push the subject. Don't push it on her, fellas. If she wants to pack it, all good. That's great. If the first one goes well and it's very sexual, use that momentum for the next getaway. Um, use that momentum going home. Don't put pressure on her, especially if it's been a long time since you got out of town. You don't want a weekend away just to be equated to a sex fest. All right, well, I guess you can, but if if your physical connection isn't the greatest, putting pressure on her physically like that is going to cause stress. And if she's stressed, she's not going to get in the mood. So take it easy. I personally love tea candles. Uh, they're a must item when we pack, when we go out of town. That's just me. Hotel room lighting is awful. <laughs> it's usually really bad. So any candle light like that, it is just, it is awesome. Okay, so I highly recommend that. Um, there's some if you don't want to like, uh, if you don't want to light a flame, uh, there's some that are battery operated that are LED, super easy, super cheap, good stuff. So this is the most important pearl you'll take away from this episode. Listen to me. Expect a letdown after you get home. It happens every single time when you do a weekend away, especially if it goes awesome. You're super stressed at home. Things, you know, the kids are at that age where they demand a lot of your attention. You are going to have a letdown when you get home, and it is going. You're going to get slapped with in the face with reality. That is expected. As long as you know that, in on the front end, you're going to avoid any major issues when you get home. I can't stress that enough. It happens every time you're going to have a letdown for a couple of days after a weekend away. It happens every time. Now, as you do more of the weekends away, over time, things are going to get easier. They're going to get more predictable to plan. I'm a huge believer in the KISS philosophy, so keep it simple, stupid, K-I-S-S. That The KISS philosophy applies here. doesn't have to be super elaborate. I kind of mix it up a little bit that way, something simple, something super awesome. Uh, something expensive, uh, just focus on connection and having a good time like you were dating. Let the rest happen naturally. Smile, have fun, and relax with your spouse, with your woman, with your man. That's what it's all about. So there you have it. Weekends away, so important when it comes to married couples, especially after children. Maintain your connection, have an awesome time, and I wish you luck with it. So like, share, and subscribe to the podcast and the channel if you like the material. Join my free Marriage Isn't Dead private Facebook group. That's where I interact with my subscribers, people all over the world, really awesome people. And until next time, be better than you were yesterday and be desirable.